guys welcome back to my channel a couple of months ago I shared my current mom morning basket video with you guys and I just shared in that video that I have been needing some low notes for the high notes of my day and sometimes low notes for me are scripture study or Bible study sometimes those are just um, historical books because I'm kind of a history nerd sometimes it's just a novel that I'm reading so I compiled it all together and put it in a basket next to my bed so that at any point during the day whether it's when I first wake up in the morning or when I'm having trouble falling asleep at night or if my kids are in quiet time and I've caught some time to just be alone and reset for the day I can go to the same space in my room and kind of have it all compiled right in there so i decided the last time that i shared with you i said that i was going to share it kind of seasonally i switched out a couple of titles from what was in that summertime basket uh, a couple of them one of them is maybe a little fall um but i will share again at christmas time because i do love advent studies and so i will be changing it out in december so i'm going to show you what's in this basket today um, and for the next month month and a half or so and then I will show you again in December so if this is something that you guys are interested in please give this video a thumbs up those thumbs up help me know uh, that you guys are engaged and what videos you want to see more of and let's get to it so here is my basket and you guys will notice that it's a lot of little studies and books and things. And that's just the way that my mind operates. I like being in multiple books at once. Some of them are like daily devotion type books. Some of them are more like inv mental investments, if you will. Um, but I function just fine being in a lot of little places at once. In the past, when the kids were a little younger and I didn't have much time to devote to reading or didn't have that much time to spend alone reading, um, I couldn't be in that many places at one time. But Regardless, um, that's where I'm at right now. So if that's not you, don't feel like you're not doing enough. Just a little disclaimer. It's just the way my mind operates. So first things first, this book, Treasuring God in Our Traditions. This was a gift from one of my girlfriends a few years ago, uh, probably five or six years ago, and I haven't pulled it out in about four years. So because I am spending the month of October kind of focusing on preparing my heart for advent and just slowing down at the end of this year really taking this year to be intentional with our traditions because there are no expectations of anyone in 2020 with all that's gone on this year i wanted to pull this out and see if it takes on a new life um i just i really liked this book years ago when i was in the busy season of little kids underfoot and so i thought it would be a good time to pull this out again as i'm trying to prepare my heart toward the end of the year um, of course, I have my Bible in here with our updated scripture memory. This one only goes through, or not scripture memory, but scripture reading. Um, this one goes through the end of, of the year. This one goes through December 31st. So this is what my church's um, daily morning and evening readings are. And then uh, our pastor puts out a blog post every day that goes along with either the morning or the evening reading. Um, sorry that a car just drove by very loud. I have If I Perish, I Perish. So last month you guys saw that John and I were, or last couple, last time, you saw that John and I were reading through the screw tape letters and we finished that. Now we needed a new book to read together that it wasn't just like a couple's devotional. I kind of explained my thoughts on that last time. Um, but we had a guest pastor speak recently and he recommended he just kind of mentioned this book and it sounded like something that John and I would enjoy reading. Um, it is Challenge and Encouragement from the Book of Esther. And this is by Major Ian Thomas, who John and I have read other books by him and we have read a, one other book by him and we enjoyed it. And so I thought this would be a short and sweet little, it's a quick read. It's a very quick read, small book, 13 chapters, um, only like 100 and, 140 pages or so and digestible. So I grabbed this for he and I to read together. Um, I picked up The Tattooist of Auschwitz again. I told you guys last time that I put it down. Um, it was just a hard read for me. It was I was walking through it very slowly and I just put it down for a little bit. Picked it up again because after the holiday season, the kids will be getting into this time in history and so I wanted to be there mentally before they were and we before we read some of their books. So I am um, probably a third of the way through. So 
I'm gonna try to finish that within this month. I still have Power of a Praying Wife and Power of a Praying Parent in here. I told you guys last time that I just do one of these per day. Just just look through the little prayers. My little, my little history nerd mind picked up this book, The Founding Fathers. Now, this is not a living book. This is not written from anyone's perspective. It is just kind of like a, a uh, little biography of the Founding Fathers and a few of the uh, a few of the their wives as well the founding what is it called i found i found the word the other day not the matriarchs but i can't remember what they called it darn um but there are a couple of women in here as well it says the essential guide to the men who made america um but i just kind of wanted to pop back in and revisit colonial America for a minute, <laughs> the time of the founding and the time of the founding fathers for a minute because we have been doing, uh, we were in the civil war all year last year. And um, so I did that Voices from Slavery book and that was, I really, really, if you guys didn't pick that book up, I definitely recommend it. That was a good read. And I'm gonna keep that on my shelf because it's a lot of little um, entries to read but when the kids and i when the boys and i did paul revere's ride it sparked some interest in a couple of things that i felt like i had missed uh, in my education so i wanted a book uh, i actually wanted the john and abigail adams letters book but it was on back order so i grabbed this in its place i just it floats my boat i know you guys don't some of you guys would be like why would you read that to relax my brain does um and then I got Mother Culture. You guys ready for it? I have never read Mother Culture and I'm excited about reading this book. So I am super, super excited to go through this. I might put it down at Christmas time and then pick it back up again next year because I doubt I'll get through the whole thing, but maybe I will. I don't know. I know most of you guys are probably like, you've never read that book, but I haven't. And I'm very, very excited about reading it. I also still have my 365 days with God journal from Anna Vance. I've been putting an entry in there three or four days a week, so I won't get through it in 365 days, but it's a nice small little um, journal. And then I have my CBS book, which is we're going through the book of John. So that is what I have to read and to quiet my heart this fall. If you guys have any of these books or you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. And I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.